it should be a case of just turning on the cricket. I've just done a different colourway for peppermint because I wasn't 100% loving the original one. Uh, get to working on bulk making all these. Morning guys, so yesterday I finished designing the Pudding the Dog sticker pack things. This has took me way too long. I actually planned to have this all done in a day, but obviously the businessy stuff has just kind of got in the way. Also, we have received a roll of transfers, which I need to cut up here and press for Mike for orders. We've had a bit of a nightmare with it because the company forgot to send the rest of the rolls, but they're sending it first class tomorrow. A bit of a nightmare because when we were away in Turkey, I don't I only put my shop on holiday mode what I normally do is change the dispatch dates on Etsy so there was a seven day dispatch date but it means that some orders with the oh my god totes which has been the best seller are going to go out right on the last day or the second to last day of my dispatch dates now I like to normally try and get things out ASAP I don't like orders just sat in the shop uh, but hopefully we can get them all done and dispatched tomorrow but meanwhile we have sold quite a lot of these Orton Girl ones which are on here so I'm going to chop them up, press them for Mike and then we're going to finally make the sticker packs now the illustrations are all done it should be a case of just turning on the cricket and getting to work on that so let's get to work shall we? on here but basically I'm putting my PNG file into Cricut I don't know if you guys can see this Cricut is adding like this weird glitchy purple bar and even when I go to print on the system dialog this shows up so I don't know if it will print this out but it looks like it will and I have no idea why because my PNG is nice and clean I hope I managed to get this sorted out in the meantime I'm going to delete this I don't I don't even know why it's doing it I'm adding it as a print to cut image I'm making sure 
that all the quality is on the max quality and everything like that and it's still doing it I have no idea why I might try and upload it on the other Mac but I don't see why that would be a problem okay I'm currently making the other sticker packs and it doesn't seem to be doing that weird thing on the other ones so I'm not sure what's happened there I'm gonna I don't know if it's a problem with my PNG but it doesn't look like it is on our end anyway I thought I'd just let you guys know why I do it on Photoshop first so what I do is I open the maximum size canvas on Photoshop which is off the top of my head 9.25 inches 9.25 inches by 6.75 inches and I try and squeeze out the more space I can so you get more bang for your buck in each sticker pack and I try and put two sticker packs per sheet so that's why they look like that I then export this as a PNG and I put it into my Cricut design space here I adjust the sizes just at the top of the Cricut what I'm going to do now is print and cut those stickers make sure they look nice the colours look nice and then I'm going to design the backing cards for them so what I like to do with the backing cards is use complementary colours to the sticker pack I find it looks really nice um, when you open your orders and it's got a beautiful complementing backing card which really really pretty and I just print them out onto an A4 sheet and I manually cut them. They're usually really really simple, a logo, uh, a catnip branding logo and a nice complementing colour. I'm always really really simple with them because then you can see the stickers through it and it all looks very cohesive. So first of all we're going to do a test print, I'm going to move over to the other computer and then we're going to chop a load up ready for Christmas so that when I come back from Florida they are all ready on the shelves ready to go. I've just done a print test with two different print settings and this was using the matte paper, this was using premium semi-gloss settings on Epson and this one looks better, you can't probably tell on screen but this one looks a little bit more vibrant so now I'm going to go ahead and cut that and see what it turns out like. problem with using cheaper mats I bought these um, mats uh, but they're meant to be the light grip ones like on Cricut but as you can see the paper is stuck because it's too tacky I'm gonna have to add lint to this so it is better getting the Cricut mats to be honest this is what the uh, sticker sheets ended up looking like so this is one sticker pack for pudding it looks really cute. I love this sock one. Oh my gosh. And this mitten one. Oh, I can't tell which one's my favourite. Daisy always does this. Uh, where she like gets her toy and she like shakes it like crazy in her mouth. So that's what I've done with the socks. Uh, Pudding's not happy with the socks. So it's just kind of like playing with them. That's uh, part one. And then part two. He doesn't like them one so he's like ripping them. And then look at this one. I just really love this one. His face and everything. Looking at it. It's so cute. So... That is the pudding sticker pack. It looks really, really cute. Now I'm going to experiment with the ginger and spice one and see if the prints are printing those bars that are coming up on Cricut. But I'm going to have to unstick these mats because I literally bought loads. This is what you get for being a tight ass. Now I've got a mat that's too sticky. I've just printed the ginger and spice sticker pack and it's not printing that weird line so it must just be a digital glitch on Cricut which is a good sign. So I'm gonna print out this one, print out the peppermint, make sure I like everything. These look really cute and then we're good to go. We just need to design the backing cards and put them all together. I've just done a different colourway for peppermint because I wasn't 100% loving the original one so let me try and show you. So this was the original one, this grey. Uh, it's kind of like a grey um, line art. And I've changed it to more of this brownie colour, which I think complements 
the peppermint colour palette a lot better with the browns and the gingers and the reds and I think that just looks so much nicer and it also looks more vibrant even though I haven't changed the base colour here as you can see it actually makes the whole image in general look a lot more um, saturated and vibrant so I decided that this was going to be better than this grey one so I'll have two sticker packs here that I can use for myself. Really happy with how they turned out. And yeah, we're all good to go now. I'm happy with all the colours for each of the sticker packs. And now it's just a case of making them all up. These are the three sticker packs that I finished. I've put the backing cards, like I used the complementary colours. I just checked that they all worked. And this is what they've turned out like. So now that I'm happy with the backing colours and everything and the cards, I'm now ready to just make all these up. So I need to do the individual packs. I normally do them in even numbers just because two on a sheet and then there's four on a sheet that I normally print out on A4. So I'll probably do packs of 40 so I'll do 40 of each design so I need to get on uh, get to working on bulk making all these I still love this pudding so so much it's so cute <laughs> finished packing up 40 new pudding winter woolly stickers and then I got two seconds packs that's not bad going really two miscuts where the paper had slipped on the mat but they're still usable as you can see but they're not like a perfect cut they're misaligned so I'll put them away for when we do a big second sale which we're not doing for a while yet I had these little second stickers that I've had for a while I just basically printed them out on this piece of paper uh, these label little label stickers that I used to actually use as card catch stickers and it just says this has had a little whoopsie uh, but it's still cute so I prefer to do this and sell them as seconds rather than having loads of waste because 
you know, some people just like it and I, I like buying seconds as well. Uh, there's nothing wrong with them, they're just, the white outline is a bit miscut. But yeah, all of them are now packed, I need to put them away. Then I've got two more sticker packs to make, I've got the gingy one and the peppermint and then we're all done. But before then, I'm going to go on a break, I'm going to have some hot chucky because it's hot chocolate season. Look at this huge brand new sticker order look at all those this is all a restock of sold out stickers we've got like the ba uh, baguette cafe id 002 which is the frog um, organization tabs so many stickers look how chunky they are dean's just about to corner all of them and put them all in our little baskets also look at all these mugs that turned up smashed dean's been on the phone to the company I've just gone live on TikTok. Hello guys. I thought I might as well go live and get some company while I'm chopping all these stickers up. morning guys I think I'm gonna end this vlog here and start a brand new vlog I hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to like and leave a comment below uh, what your favorite sticker pack was it really helps me out and this channel and I'll see you in the next one when hopefully we will be making some gift tags and possibly some wrapping paper anyway I'll see you in the next one all right then thanks so much for watching I love you goodbye